It had been raining for, for about, I don't know, three or four days and it was in a car park. There was a very shallow drain. I couldn't find the kitten anywhere. I was searching high and low for it. And then just by chance I looked down, there was this little bedraggled tabby kitten in the drain. And his head, it was cold, his head started to fall forward into the water. I didn't have the physical strength nor the tools to, to be able to lift up the grill. And I had no other inspectors nearby. Uh, so I put a call through to the fire brigade to, to come out and assist me and in the meantime all I could do to keep this kitten alive was fit my fingers through the grill and grab his ears and just hold his head out of the water and uh, I, I didn't, I seriously didn't think he'd make it and uh, when the fire brigade got there they ripped the grills off and, uh, and got him out and he just was making this awful noise that I thought he, I thought he was dying. Anyway, I wrapped him up, dried him as much as I could, put him in the footwell of my car, turned the air conditioning on with the heat as high as it could go, and drove as fast as I could to get back to the shelter, raced in with him. He, his body was so cold, he didn't record a temperature. Um, we had him on heat packs. An hour later, I came back, his body still didn't record a temperature. And he stayed in the shelter overnight on heat back, packs and, and lamps and everything just trying to get that body temperature up. The next morning I went in and he was up and about. I ended up fostering him for about four weeks because he ended up with ringworm after all of that and uh, and he got adopted out to, to a great home. So there definitely the rescues stay with me because uh, you know most of the time it, it's a happy result. There's no, there's no bad person in the picture. It, it's an animal requiring assistance. We go out and rescue them and, and you know, the best result is that they can go to a new home.